The Xbox Series S storage absolutely sucks. It's way too small, with only 364 gigabytes of storage actually usable. This is a joke for modern day gaming. Especially if you play Call of Duty, you know what I'm talking about. Now I've had the Series S from launch day, which means I've tried every type of storage available, so you don't have to. With a quick purchase of the right kind of storage, you will be able to install more than Call of Duty Warzone on your Xbox Series S. There are three types of storage I recommend for the Series S, all with different capabilities and different speeds and different costs. So we will explain each one, and at the end of each one I will tell you why it might be good for you, or why you might want to give it a miss. First up is the best option in my opinion, which is the Seagate expansion card. This card pops into the back of your Series S, and is absolutely fantastic, it is lightning fast, the exact same as the storage which is in your Series S, and depending on which size you go for, I went for the 512 gigabytes, you won't break the bank. That will set you back around about $100, and it goes all the way up to a two terabyte size if you want that. I think it's available in 512 gigabytes, one terabyte, and two terabytes, there's also a Western Digital version of this available. I'm not sure which storage size they come in. I think they are in one terabyte only, might be 5.112 as well. But if you want two terabytes, go for the Seagate. It will cost you a fortune though. The two terabyte version of this costs, I think it's about $350. So pretty much the same price you will pay for your Series S console, you will be paying for this storage expansion. If you're doing that, you might as well just get a Series X, sell this, and then you'll get a terabyte of storage and an even more powerful console. If you really want a Series S, however, and you've not picked one up yet, there is now the option of the Carbon Black Xbox Series S, which comes with one terabyte of storage. And this thing looks super clean in its all black colorway. This might be a great option for those of you who don't want a Series X and want a bit more storage on your Series S right out the box. That is why I opted for the 512 gigabyte version. You can then play everything on this that you can play on the internal storage. That is this thing's superpower, which the other storage options can't do. This can play Xbox Series X and S games, Xbox One enhanced games for Series X and S, Xbox One games and original Xbox games, all from this little card. This is my pick. I will leave affiliate links down below to all the options so you can pick them up for a great price using my links. Next up is the kind of mid-ground happy medium, which is an external SSD. So this is the Western Digital My Passport. I recommend it, it's really good, really fast really well priced depending on what size of storage you go for you can get these from like $50 all the way up to $150, $200 but make sure the storage size is over 256 gigabytes otherwise it will not be compatible with your Series S so that is the smallest storage size you can buy which will work with the Xbox console. So why do I like this? Well, you can't actually play Series X and S games on this, but you can store them on this. Then when you do want to play them, you can transfer them from your external SSD onto the internal hard drive on your Series S console and then play them. This is the happy medium as I call it because it is a lot faster than a standard hard drive or a mechanical hard drive, depending on what you want to call it. So this will be a lot quicker than the next option. This is also going to have a lot quicker load times for playing Xbox One and original Xbox games. Whereas the last option, which we'll go to in a minute, will just be like an Xbox One hard drive. So keep that in mind for your SSD option. If you think you're going to play a lot of Xbox One games, a lot of OG Xbox games and maybe store some Series S and X games on it when your internal hard drive gets a bit filled up. 
Last but not least, last but not least is the storage option for those of you who want to have a huge library of games downloaded and that is the old school hard drive. So unlike the other option we just spoke about being a solid state drive, this is a mechanical hard drive which spins inside here, kind of like what you used to get in all your PCs and what is in the Xbox One consoles. I like this one as well because it is Xbox branded. So what can this hard drive do? Well, it has the same functionality as the solid state drive we've already discussed but it is much slower than the solid state drive so you can store your xbox series s and x and xbox one enhanced for series s and x games on this you can't play them so you need to transfer them back onto the internal drive of your console when you want to play them but keep in mind the transfer time will be a lot longer in some cases it will be double that of the ssd which is much quicker so keep that in mind if you're going to be doing a lot of transferring games if you just want a massive library of games sitting offline ready to play them whenever you like this might be the best option for you as this is a two terabyte hard drive which will set you back about 60 to 80 dollars they are quite often on sale this is great if you've got tons of 360 games tons of xbox one games which you just want to store offline this is the way to do it it also looks really cool the white matches the series s console perfectly and you can get some really cool ones which i'll put on screen like starfield ones which have really cool rgbs and things like that you can get halo ones there's tons of different options for you to select just remember you can't play your series s or x games on this this is only for playing original xbox games xbox 360 games and xbox one games so let's quickly recap for you all the seagate expansion card plays everything and stores everything but is very expensive the ssd stores everything but only plays xbox one games xbox 360 games xbox original games and the hard drive stores the most it stores everything as well and it is the cheapest by far looks cool as well i must admit but you cannot play xbox series s and x and xbox one enhanced games for series s and x this will only play xbox one xbox 360 and xbox original games and it will do everything a lot slower than the ssd will which option do you think is best and if you want to know how to set any of these up check out the videos on screen right now which will show you how to do it step by step